and welcome. This is Nasreen Sheikh and you're watching It's Tomorrow News. Typhoon Hajibis threatens Tokyo with heaviest rain in 60 years. Japan was bracing on Friday for the arrival of Typhoon Hajibis, which threatens to deluge Tokyo with the heaviest rain in 60 years. Just a month after a strong storm pummeled the area around the capital, disrupting transport and causing massive power cuts. There is an increased possibility that the very powerful typhoon will make landfall in the Tokal region of the Kanto region tomorrow. Hajibis is expected to bring ferocious winds, high waves and record rainfall to wide areas areas from the northeast to western Japan. Hajibis is comparable to the 1958 typhoon that hit eastern and central Japan, killing more than 1,200 people. There is a warning of mudslides, flooding, swollen rivers and storm surge calling on residents to evacuate early and protect their own lives. Two Rugby World Cup matches scheduled for Saturday have been cancelled due to the expected impact of Hajibis, organizers said. Airline have already cancelled about 1,280 flights on Saturday, broadcaster NHK reported. ANS stopped all domestic flights to and from Tokyo's two main airports, Hameda and Narita, from Friday afternoon. ANA and rival Japan airline company also cancelled some flights to and from airport servicing the major cities of Osaka and Nagoya. Many train services, including high-speed bullet train service, will suspend it in eastern and central Japan on Saturday, rail companies said. Hajibis was about 410 km west of Chiba Jima Island, traveling north-northwest at 25 km per hour with maximum sustained winds of 180 km per hour and gust of 252 km per hour, according to the agency. A month ago, Typhoon Faksai pounded eastern Japan, including Tokyo, killing one person while about 130 others were injured. In Chiba Prefecture, thousands of households lost electricity and water supply for two weeks. Officials in the Chiba just east of Tokyo have told people to prepare supplies of food and water for up to three days. The typhoon is expected to hit the most populous island of Honshu on Saturday. Evacuation centers have been opened in some coastal areas. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news, Nasrin Sheikh. For more weather updates, do like, share and subscribe our channel.